Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Domo's Creations and More, where today I am, <coughs> excuse me, excited to share with you a design team project that I made for That's Just Penny for the month of November using her Vintage Autumn Garden Junk Journal Kit. The kit is amazing. Um, it is here on my YouTube channel where I gave you the flip through of it. So let me share with you what I made. I made this lovely envelope journal. It's so cute. At least I think so. I hope you enjoy the flip through just as much as I enjoyed making it. What I did was I wrapped the seam binding around it. I chose to do it this way. I prefer to have, you know, ribbon like that or laced tied around a journal because I envision the person that buys this journal to stuff it full and have a big alligator mouth like this and if I were to put a closure you kind of you know it tights to the side I prefer it you know wrap it around and for me my personal journals they're big alligator mouths and I don't even bother tying them that's me I don't know <laughs> so this is a front let me give you a, <coughs> excuse me, uh, look at the paper, just beautiful, let me show you, oh, I have a note there because I have to, <clears throat> this is the back, my sticker, and I covered the spine up with this beautiful lace, so are you ready to go inside? I left it like that because I'm thinking, I don't know. Oh, this doesn't go in there. Sorry about that. Um, you know, maybe they want to um, stick down some stuff with washi tape, some photos, stuff like that. So I left it blank for them to do so. And then here I added some trim. This one, I want to thank Claudette for sending me these goodies. Uh, the green little sequence um, details here. Ah, she sent me some goodies in a swap that we made. This is a pocket right here. I made a big journaling card. And this is part of the kit. Right? I cut up the page and I put it in here. It is on cardstock. So that you can write, so that you can put a picture. And there's also room in here. You know, so for you to stuff. And then here I made a pocket. I put a layer tag <clears throat> it was some lace some paper and then I cut out fussy cut out the dragonflies that you will see throughout the the journal and again more space to write and more space to stuff in there then here it's a fold out where you can go up here put a, a picture you can journal here put another picture I matted this one Meaning, you know, you can just put a picture here and it, it already has like a background. Here, I left it blank so that you could journal maybe because of the picture or something that you're going to put on here. Look at this image, just beautiful. Again, place here for you to, to embellish, to put your own um, embellishments here. Maybe, <coughs> maybe some pictures and stuff like that. I did... Uh, put some glitter glue accents here and there like on the wings on the fruit on the flowers So when you get it, you know, it catches your eye look at the flower and the wings on the dragonfly See how it just sparkles. It looks like a little dew Another pocket here for you to stuff and it's a dragonfly look at the wings perfect angle right there See how it catches your eye? Again, you can put a little picture here. You can add a note, you know, add some pictures, um, journal. You can stuff the um, pages here, you know, because it has room. Um, you will notice that on here, uh, the envelopes are like that. I do that for a reason. I purposely uh, stuff the envelopes in here, like with extra paper. So that when you get this journal, it's already kind of used to being stuffed. And so it's kind of loose. Not loose, but you know. See how it's already like pre, um, I don't know, used to being stuffed. 
I don't know how to say it, but um, I like that because then you're not messing with, you know, trying to put in the, you know, the items and it's like, it's really tight. And so that's why I pre-do that for you. I made an envelope. This one is not from the kit. This one is from Mushroom Melody from Studio 28E. I had that left over and I thought it went really well with this. I made another little journaling card. I just want to insert, thank you Chris, Christina for the felt stickers, another goodie from a swap. I thought it went really, really well with the kit. Put some lace and then made a little journaling card or a note card that, that they can use to write a note to somebody or a memory. And then I decorated it up with some cheesecloth, some trim, some, <coughs> excuse me, a, um, a word, this word is a freebie from Marty Mays, and then that's a sticker from Christina. Some layered tags that I made, again, cutting out elements from the pages of the book. I layered it on top of vintage book paper. Actually, this was a playbook from Carmen. Anyway, <laughs> some cheesecloth, label uh, backed up in some tea dyed paper. Again, it's from the kit. I layered that um, bird up and you know how I see how it, I gave it lots of texture. I mean, it's going to make you want to touch it because it does have like, see how like the little, what I did was layered paper behind it to give this texture. And trust me, when you get it, you're going to want to go like that. I'm like, is that that? Is it wrinkly? No, I purposely made it that way because of the feel. I layered some cheesecloth, some more papers back there tea dyed paper i made another journaling card with some more of the images from the kit um, i just you know fussy cut cut out those images um, and layered cheesecloth behind it some more journaling space here i made a belly band and it's a place where you can um, put things in here you know it'll hold them for you I think it looks really cute because of the of the lace detail. And what I'm gonna try to do is scoot. There we go. I like for everything to peekaboo out. So when you open the page, right? If you're like this, you open the page, you see a little bit of everything, and it draws your eyes to see, ooh, what's that? What's that? Just you know, little details that I do. <laughs> some more of those green sequin flowers. Um, some trim that somebody had sent me and. Forgive me whoever sent me this trim. For whatever reason, um, I didn't write it down. Um, when I receive goodies um, in swaps or, you know, things that people send me, I will, I will, let me cover her last name. I will write down um, who sent it to me, when they send it to me, why they send it to me, so that when I use it, I'm able to thank them publicly. So here you have a journal. Yes, some writing pages. There you go. And it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages folded in half. This is the middle of the signature. The tags are not in here, they're on the outside. That's why I hit them in the lace. And then here I just took some um, variegated, I think it's called, like different color, um, like fuzzy yarn. And I, what happened was I was messing with it and I liked it, didn't like it, and I kind of threw it and a piece of it kind of just fell on the page and I said, you know what, I like that. So I just tacked it down in different places so it kind of looks like a little vine. And then... Um, Christina had sent me over those pick those um, stickers that I had here on my um, desk, and they had these um, leaves in them, and so I just kind of put them there, and I really, really do love the way it turned out. <coughs> the other pages I left blank because I don't know, like, if you want to embellish it with your pictures, with your ephemera with um, your doodling, painting, stuff like that. Um, this is vintage paper. It looks like a lovely tea dyed paper, but it actually is true vintage paper. 
And then this is the back. Again, I left it as is in case you wanted to mount pictures, attack things down with washi tape, staple, attach. I don't know. I imagine it's going to be filled to the gills. I don't know. Um, I leave that up to you, whoever um, purchases this um, journal. So this is the back. Again, this is my design team project for That's Just Penny. I used the Vintage Autumn um, Garden Kit from her. I really enjoyed this kit. I love the colors. I love that you could take it into winter. I, I love that you can even use it for December. I love that you can use it all year round because the colors are muted, because it has nature, because it has, you know... Uh, the snail, the butterfly, I mean not the butterfly, I'm sorry, the dragonfly, the flowers, the script, it just lends itself to be used all year long. Um, I often say that when I choose my kits, I like to choose kits or uh, paper items that are timeless, meaning I can pick it up in December and use it in June and November and April. It's timeless. I can pick it up next year and there is no like let's say unicorn that everybody's into unicorn at this time in this season. Right? The colors are neutral meaning I can use it in the summer, I can use it in December, I can use it in the fall, I can use it in the spring because then depending on what I put on it that's what it's going to highlight. See if I add the pink if I add um, green, see how the background lends itself to that? If I just want to add more bling to it, it lends itself. I can do um, red. It, it will pop, you know, because the background or the colors in there is neutral. So, um, I really enjoyed the kit. I enjoyed putting the journal together. I will have the journal up for sale on my Facebook page. It's the same name as my YouTube, Delmas Creations and More, on Facebook and Instagram. I will have it listed there if you're interested in purchasing it. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really do appreciate you watching my videos. Give me a thumbs up. Um, give me a, leave me a comment what did you like about it what didn't you like about it what would you like to see uh Dama, i would have liked to see more pockets or whatever leave me a comment because i like to hear your input and i do take it into consideration while i am creating um you know comments that people put for me or tell me privately through facebook or through instagram um I do take them into consideration. So I hope you have a great day. Find time to do something that makes you happy, that makes you smile, that, um, you know, fills your bucket, you know, in, in a way, um, in a positive way. For me, that's crafting. So you will always hear me say, bye guys. Happy crafting.